Good Saturday morning. How are you? It's Amy coming back at you with another um, quick workout. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more strength like we have been doing. We're going to be doing supersets, but I will explain it to you as we get started. Um, we'll get warmed up in just a second here, but let me just tell you, today you need a pair of um, light or medium dumbbells, whatever you have on hand. Um, you're going to need either a furniture slider like this or a paper plate to use for one of our exercises. And if you have a stability ball, um, you can see it in the background there, or yoga ball, um, we are going to be using that. If you, we're just going to do glute bridges, so if you don't have a ball, you can just do it on the floor. That's fine. But I just wanted to show you one exercise you can do with one of those um, stability balls that you might have laying around. So um, let me go ahead and get started here. We've got a little bit of music. And I'm going to get my timer going. We'll go ahead and start with a little butt kick to warm up. Two minutes for your warm up. <clears throat> Again, it's pretty warm out today. This is Thursday that I'm filming this. So we don't need a huge long warm up because the likelihood is that your muscles won't take very long to get ready. <clears throat> 10 more seconds here. So I mentioned it earlier, we're doing supersets. There's a lot of different ways that you can do supersets. Just a 10 second break and then we're gonna go into our high knees. And I'm right here. So today we're gonna do two different exercises for different muscle groups back to back and we'll repeat three different blocks. So we're going to be working glutes and legs and then a little bit of upper body and then we're going to go down to the floor for some core at the end like always. Just a few more seconds here. Really get those knees up. Next for our warm-up, we're going to go into our lunge and reach. So right here, I like to do this one for just a whole body warm-up. <clears throat> and for this workout, we're doing 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off for each exercise. Really reach overhead here. It's a good, good workout in and of itself. We're still just warming up. Last exercise for the warm, we're gonna do a little walking squat. So we'll just do a couple this way, right here. That's as far as I can go <laughs> in my space. You can see I got the rug rolled up, I got the coffee table moved over. I'm sure over the course of this coronavirus season, you've found some creative ways to use your space to get a workout in. Creative use of equipment or no equipment. <clears throat> Almost there. Just a couple more here. All right, go ahead and grab one dumbbell. We got a three, two, one squat. So feet just a little wider than hip width apart. This is strength. So what we're gonna focus on is timing, tempo. So you're holding your weight right here. Three, two, one, and then up. Three, two, one, and then up. We're just loading up those legs. Three, two, one, and then up. Chest stays proud. Three, two, one. One, keep it up. <clears throat> good, we got five more seconds. Let's get one more good one here. Three, two, one. Very good, quality over quantity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, we've got a row with a tricep kickback. So bend here, core is drawn in tight. We've got a row, kickback, and down. Pull. Squeeze 
and down. Pull, squeeze. Good, keep it up. Really focus on both of those movements. So we're squeezing our shoulder blades together in the row. And then we're really pushing and squeezing back with those tricep muscles. <clears throat> All right, so it's a superset. It's just two exercises back to back. So we're going back to that three, two, one squat for a moment here. <clears throat> Keep your chest up nice and proud. And let's go. Three, two, one, and then explode up off your heels. Three, two, one, and go. How's your week been? It's been an odd week, hasn't it, weather-wise? Beginning of the week, it was like, I don't know what season it is. Rainy. It's okay, it keeps everything green, right? Good, let's do one more, one more. And back to our row with our triceps kick back. <clears throat> right here, feet a little wider than shoulder width, just like we were with our squat. And we hinge, pull, squeeze, and go. Right here. Pull, squeeze, and back down. I'm looking at you right now, but I want you to look in front of you for a good alignment in your neck and your shoulders. Keep it up. You should be feeling that. Feel that triceps. All right, we're to our next superset. Now is where you're gonna grab your slider. You're gonna put it under one foot. Oops, sorry, that was loud. <clears throat> you're gonna hold your weight right here, just like we were with a squat, and you're gonna sink down into a lateral lunge. Right here. Sitting back in that heel. On the standing leg, you should feel a little bit of pull right into that inner thigh. As long as you're not overstretching it, that's fine. A lot of times we get a little tight in there, those, those adductor muscles of the inner thighs. So it's a good way to stretch it out. And of course, we gotta switch sides. Shift over to the other side. Get ready to sink back into those glutes. And go. Now you might find that one side is a little stronger than the other. You know, we're all either right or left-handed, or at least most of us, except for those lucky people who can write with both hands. We're also right and left-footed. So you're gonna find that you have better balance and strength on one than the other, that's okay, but what we're trying to do when we work on these single leg exercises is balance it out a little bit. All right, let's get rid of the slider. Grab your other dumbbell. We gotta fly with an overhead extension. So we're doing shoulders and chest here. So pretend like you're in that fly machine at the gym right here. And then we're pressing up overhead. Now, I want you to think about fighting gravity. So it's a push up, it's a pull down and then it's a squeeze in your chest. Lots of different things are happening right here. And I want you to make, take advantage of all of it. Really focus. All right, we're going back to the sliders. Remember, it's just two different exercises back to back. That way you keep it simple. You don't have to worry about remembering a ton of different things. So we're back here. Sitting low in those legs. Now, if you don't have a slider or a paper plate hanging around, what you can do, stay with it. If you're staying with me, you can just walk it out like that. Very similar. So, use whatever option you have available. But I like using the slider and the paper plate because most of them have, most people have 
one of those around at least. And let's go here. How much time we're just stop? I think I'm okay. Back here. I like using a timer because I don't have to keep track of reps. I have a hard time counting reps while I'm talking. <laughs> My clients will tell you that. Okay, let's get two more. Alright, I'm gonna get my timer started again so we can get into our next exercise. Alright, let's go back here to our fly with our, with our overhead extension, pull, and push right here. Upper body. We're really shaping those shoulders, the chest the back. <clears throat> Tank top season, hopefully. <laughs> okay, that's it for that set. Now we're gonna go down to the floor, for our floor exercises. We have three floor exercises, so it's a tricep. We're gonna start with a ball bridge. So we're gonna get into some glutes. Super simple, back a little bit. Super simple here, all you're doing is coming up into a bridge. Again, if you don't have a ball, you can just do this on the floor. Again, pushing through those heels, engage your glutes. <clears throat> the ball is right under the nape of the neck, so it's really supporting your neck. Next up, we're gonna go into a high plank with a um, weight pull. So it's not a man maker like we've done before. It's a little more subtle than that. All you're doing is moving the weight side to side. So you're here, again, working on stability in through that core. Really keeping those hips level. Face down. Belly button's pulled in tight towards your spine. Now we're gonna go into some good old bicycles. So you're lying back. Gently. Right there. You're gently supporting your neck and you're not craning your neck and you're keeping your elbows out wide. And you're just bicycling the knee to the elbow, right here. This is one of those old, old fashioned exercises we've been doing forever. Yet, what do they say? There's nothing new under the sun. Sometimes, the reason they've been around a while is because they're effective, so that's why we stick with them. Let's go back to that bridge. We're repeating one more time. Right here. Now, if you have one of those little rubber band type um, pieces of equipment, it's just like a little circle, what I like to do is step into those and use that as a little bit of extra, a little extra challenge. So you just step into it and put it right over your knees. And that way you get a little bit more glute activation. So that's an option for you. All right, we're back to the high plank with the plate switch or dumbbell switch. Right here. Lots of focus. Strong core. Oops. 
And they'll start rolling away from me. All right, back to the bicycles. <coughs> Right here, getting ready. Again, all of these exercises about are about quality over quantity. I would rather you really focus on doing the exercise correctly. Focus on the muscles you're engaging. This one really hits the obliques as well as those deep abdominal muscles. That's why I use them so much. All right, let's stand up. That's it for the working portion. Let's take a few minutes to stretch. <clears throat> so we're gonna do 30 seconds of stretching, 30 seconds of each exercise. Back here to one of my favorites, pulling your knee to your chest and rolling out that ankle little ankle mobility. Good, she feels so good to stretch a little bit. Let's keep it going, a couple more seconds here. And we'll switch to the other side. I'm definitely sweating. Again, it's not super hot, it's just really humid and sticky. We haven't gotten all our fans out yet. Last summer was my first, our family's first summer here in Germany. Um, let's go into our kneeling flexor stretch. Right here, just use your mat, shift those hips forward, and then pull your arm up. Drop your shoulder away from your ear. Yeah, so. First summer, we got a couple of those crazy hot days. I'm like, what in the world? I didn't think it got that hot here. Here we go. Shift forward again with that kneeling leg and then just reach up nice and tall, stretching out the front side of the body. But it sounds like pools are gonna be open which is exciting. My kids are really excited for that, as am I. <clears throat> and we're getting to get out and explore more too. So that is definitely something to be thankful for. Things are easing up a little bit here. Okay, let's go into a chest stretch and then we'll be, we'll do chest and then shoulders and then we'll be done for the day. Opening up that chest, really open up your heart. I always say it, but these are also really good stretches you can do during your work day. Stretch out the shoulder and the neck here. If you are finding yourself in the same position for a long time, seated at your desk, and you just need to move your body a little bit, take a little walk. Do some stretching. And let's go here, other side. And my advice to you for cardio today is to get outside. It's Saturday, so hopefully you're not working. Hopefully you can get out and explore. Just enjoy the great outdoors. But thank you for hanging in with me today. I have one more workout um, next week, and then I'm going to take a break for the rest of the summer. So um, thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope you had a great workout. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Next week. Bye.